Alright, so today's video we will be talking about on how to just start out if you're just getting Hunt Call the Wild. So, first things we're going to do is talk about the weapon packs you should get if you can get them. Alright, so the first two weapon packs or packs that I would get for the Hunt Call the Wild would be the Scopes and Crosshair, the High Caliber Weapon Pack, and Modern Rifle Pack. Um, but I would also get a reserve. What reserve you get is up to you, but those are, those are the recommended, my, my recommended packs that I would get if I was just starting out on Hunt Call Wild, and I couldn't get all of them. So you're probably wondering what the, what does these packs, uh, have with them? So the Scope and Crosshair pack, um, has three new scopes. One of them I'm using right now, but the only reason why I would get this is because the three scopes that are free in the, well, not free, but like unlockable in the game, it takes a while to get to the levels that you need for the best one. So if you get the crosshair and scope pack um, for the Hunter Call of Wild, you can go ahead and, and already get a scope that's pretty decent um but the only reason why I would get the heavy caliber pack and why I recommend it is because it comes with a shotgun a pistol and a AR type uh, gun but I would get it because of the 300 magnum but so that way you can take out decently sized animals and won't have a problem taking them down uh, the ammo for it is definitely a little expensive but other than that it's a really good gun you can shoot fast so that way if you're doing like a red deer grind or a moose or bear grind you can just take out as many as you can and then last but not least why I recommend the modern rifle pack is because it comes with again another three ARs um two one of them being 22 long rifle um the other one being a 223 and then the last one would be 308, which the 308 is this one. So, but the 308 is definitely the best one because if you're doing like a fallow deer grind or um, white tail, you can again use it, shoot as many as you can out of one zone, two zones, whatever. Um, but that's why I recommend those packs to get if you're just starting out with the Hunt Call of the Wild. Alright, so the next thing we're going to talk about is um, how to get the most money in XP. So that way you can get binoculars, um, weapons, and different types of ammo. So, the first thing I would do is get the tents and tripod pack plus the packs that I've recommended in the first part of the video but um i would get so i would go for like red deer um moose uh bears stuff like the big bigger stuff in the game because if you do that then you can get more what or more xp and more money if you do go for those types of animals in the game but i would recommend if you want to do a great one grind as well i would go for red deer or moose of bear but if you just want to do it for fun i would go if you have like the money and stuff i would go and get the australia map I would get Emerald Coast um, for the crocodiles because you can go along the um, 
along like the beach side, and you can just go and find them all over the place. But but that's also if you just if you don't want to spend a lot of money or just don't have it. But those are like the main packs and like main um, XP and money grind thingy. But the next thing that I'm going to talk about is how to shot, put your shot placement on something. So, alright, so if you, just to say, if you had a rare or something on your map, and it was a fallow deer, you would want to put it right behind the shoulder. Same thing with a deer, or whatever else. So, um, the bears, I would recommend wait until they stand up, so that way you can get either a heart or a lung shot, but... So the next thing we're going to talk about is rares and diamonds. So I use this app on my phone. Um, it'll be down in the description. Um, but there's like, there's three to five main types of rares. Leucistic, melanistic, albino, um, piebald, and hybrid. But what this app does is it tells you all the animals on one reserve or multiple reserves. You can also see what the diamond score is for that animal, what rare's fur type is for that animal. So that way if you don't know if it's a rare or not, you can just go onto that app, um, look at the fur type on the game, and then on the app, and you can see if it's a rare, and if it is, taxidermy it. Um, but other than that, pretty much got everything that I n think I need to, but if you would want a more in-depth, uh, guide on how to first just start out on the Hunt to Call the Wild, comment down below and like, but other than that, that's all for this video. I hope you liked. If you did, please like and subscribe.